What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Back again, bringing you guys some more Regulation D teams and Regulation D content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we have ourselves a banger. We are going to be bringing you guys a Hisuian Typhlosion Eruption team. Should be fun, got some few Regulation D Pokemon on this team, and it should be a really cool video considering Eruption is really only one of those moves that you really see with Torkoal, but now with Hisuian Typhlosion and regular Typhlosion in the game, we're going to be seeing this combo a lot more. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. And if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, make sure you guys become a member by clicking that join button down below. There's also a link down in the description below to become a member. You get a bunch of channel perks, such as sub badges, um, you get like priority for teams, priority for me to comment back, and also you get a bunch of cool emotes. Really, really cool. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Winter Knight. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I will be linking his channel down in the description below. So definitely go check him out. Drop a nice little sub over on his channel. But Tornadus is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. And Tornadus pairs up perfectly with this Typhlosion combo. He has Prankster and the Covert Cloak as item. It's Rock and Tailwind for Speed Control, Taunt, Heat Wave, and Sunny Day. So we can set the sun, drop a big time eruption with Typhlosion, and just pretty much KO a ton of Pokemon. Typhlosion is going to be our second Pokemon with Blaze and a Choice Scarf to make it as fast as it possibly can be. He has Eruption, Extra Sensory, Heat Wave, and Shadow Ball. He also has Fire Terror, so if we really want to pull off some big time damage, we're going to Thrasilize into Fire, we're going to set the Sun with Tornadus, he's going to be able to outspeed with Choice Scarf, and then I'm just going to Erupt and pretty much just sweep the match. Sounds pretty simple, right? It sounds deadly. <laughs> We got Urshfu in our third slot, and everybody knows Urshfu is top tier when it comes to Regulation D. He has Unseen Fist and the Black Glasses as his item. Rocket Protect, Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, and Close Combat. In our fourth slot, we got our Series 3 star. We got Iron Bundle, Cork Drive, Booster Energy, Protect, Icy Wind, Encore, and Freeze Dry. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be Reggie Draco. And Reggie Draco is one of those very niche Pokemon. He's going to be able to pair up really well with Tornadus and do some crazy damage. So if he, if we have a situation where Reggie Draco is going to be top tier, I definitely wouldn't be bringing him in here. He has Dragon Fang, the Dragon Maul, and then he has Protect, Earth Power, Dragon Energy, and Draco Meteor. Final Pokemon for today's team is going to be our support Pokemon. That is Indeedee with Psychic Surge and the Safety Goggles. It has Imprison and Trick Room, which I absolutely love. And then Follow Me and Dazzling Lily. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental well, code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder and showcase his Suing Typhlosion in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We're loading into our first match for today's video, and just like all of my Regulation D videos, in the beginning, I want to let you guys know that I am looking for Regulation D teams. If you guys have rental codes for me, leave them in the comment section down below or tweet at me over on Twitter. Again, Twitter is down in the description below. I would love to get my hands on all Regulation D teams. I'm looking for the Hisuian starters, Charizard teams, all that good stuff. So if you guys have teams, get them over to me so I can use them for YouTube videos. But we're hopping into our first match. We're going up against a Series 3 team with Bramblin. A little bit of Bramblin action. The uh, What are those things called again? Tumbleweeds. A little bit of tumbleweed action, but they got a uh, Chiyu, and then they got Shen Pao. They also have Fluttermane, Talonflame, and Arcanine. So since I am special attacking, I feel as we can just rock out into this combo. I really want to rip up with this combo. Even if they're fire, I still feel as Eruption in the Sun could do crazy strong damage. So I'm all about bringing in those two. In the back end, Urshfu is going to be very, very solid. And then I could just go Deli Bird with Booster Energy, because that could be good for us. But at the same time, I only have ice moves with that. So do I want to go into a Pokemon more so like you? Because you do have Earth Power. Nice little coverage move. You have a nice, lovely coverage move. So it's either these two, right? Hmm. They do have Fluttermane. Fluttermane's a little bit of a problem. But Earth Power is going to be super effective on the Arcanine, Shen Pao, Chi Yu. It'll be really, really good. But then Ice Spinner takes us out. Fluttermane takes us out. I just think Deli Bird is going to be solid. I have Encore with it. I only have ice moves. I can slow down. I can go speed. I like Deli Bird. I really like Deli Bird. I wish it did have Hydra Pump, but it'd be like that sometimes. I feel like Freeze Dry and just the speed of Deli Bird come and clutch in the back end. So I'm definitely bringing it. I'm definitely bringing it. But I'm kind of hoping Typhlosion and Tornadus really just do the heavy lifting right off the rip, right? So I'm thinking of just popping a sunny day, having the Choice Scarf out speed Pokemon, and kind of just going from there. Kind of just going from there. So we'll see who they want to lead. Let's see. It is going to be Talonflame and Bramble. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I feel as the sunny day is going to come out here. I feel as we have to go for sunny day. 
Just get this heat going. And now do I choice into a heat wave or do I choice into an eruption? Let's just erupt. Do we just erupt? Let's just erupt. Let's just erupt. Because I can set up the tailwind next turn. Let's just erupt. The only thing I was scared of is if Talonflame tailwinds and then Bramlin goes first. Dealing some damage to my Typhoids and making eruption not do as much. But I feel as we should be fine. I feel as we should be fine. But I was thinking about Hisuian Typhoids. I think it might be better to have like Hisuian Typhoids with Protect. So you can set up Sun once, the Sun uh, like in the first turn while it protects, and then Tailwind the next turn. But I feel like the Choice Scarf is such a good item for him that you kind of want it, right? Instead of Protect. So we're going to Terrasalize this thing. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to end up Tailwind. Bramblin, can you just go after like Tornadus or something? Can you just do that? Or maybe my boy can actually just uh, outspeed already. Sunny Day is coming out here. We want the Sun. We want it all. We want it all. Can Typhlosion just outspeed? It does not, but he ends up cursing himself. Okay. He puts a curse on my Tornado, so that's fine. Eruption's now gonna fly. <laughs> this should do crazy damage. Oh my lord. That's fine. That's fine. Because now I can set up a Tailwind. And after that Tailwind set up, Typhlosion should be able to outspeed most. And I think this <laughs> might be so broken. He is cursed, but that's totally fine. As long as he didn't deal damage to my uh, Typhlosion. That Flores is sitting here full HP, ready to erupt. So erupting was the right call here. So let's see who he ends up going out into. He's going to go into Flutter Man. That's fine. That is fine. He's going to Protosynthesis boost. Are you getting speed boost on that? That might do me dirty, but still. Hey, we're going to go for a Tailwind here. I'm going to boost my speed. I'm going to go into an eruption. I'm doing it. I'm erupting. I think Flutter Man will outspeed my uh, Typhlosion, but if it does, eruption should still do a nice amount of damage here. We are going to go first, but you end up taking out Tornadus. Actually, don't take out Tornadus. We soaked that. Eruption coming out here, yo. They are leaving this thing to just shred. See you later, Flutter Mane. See you later, Town Flame. Oh, this thing's sashed. This thing's sashed. Chill on me, man. He's sashed, but, yo, Typhlosion just absolutely ripping into our opponent right now. Doing too much. We're doing too much work. So, Curse is actually going to take him out, and that's works out perfectly because Tornadus got his job done. It set the sun. It got the tail went up. Now we can bring out Pokemon with Sucker Punch like our Urshfu. Get rid of the Flutter Mate and then just have Eruption pretty much just settle this battle. Like they left his Suey and Typhlosion on the field way too long. Shen Pal comes out here. That's fine. I mean, if he Sucker Punches me, it's probably not going to KO me. I'm talking about my tor uh, my uh, Typhlosion. If he Sucker Punch my Typhlosion. And we should still be able to do a decent amount of damage. So I'm just going to Sucker Punch onto the uh, Flutter Main. I'm going to erupt all across the field with my Choice Scarf. And yeah, this one's wraps. This one is wraps. Quick match number one. They end up not canceling. They're going to Terrasalize the Shen Pao. And Shen Pao is not Sash. I mean, it could be considering it's casual battles and you can use multiple items. But chance are it's not Sash. And it's a water type. Wow. Wow, I was not expecting the water. Eruption could still do a nice chunk of damage. Let's see how this one plays out here. He ends up sucker punching me. That does a nice chunk of damage. I'm going to sucker punch him. And now my eruption. Let's see how much damage he's going to do. Probably not too much. We're at 53 HP. But still. It's it's locked down. We just lock his smash down. Cool. Eruption flies. Send it his way. I'm curious to see how much damage he's going to do. That's actually a great amount of damage. That's a huge amount of damage. Because now we can just sucker punch. We can say GG's. Actually, we're not going to Sucker Punch. The reason being, he outspeeds, and if he Sucker Punches my Typhlosion, and I Sucker Punch him, then my Sucker Punch isn't going to work, and he just picks up a free KO. So I'm just going to go into a Wicked Blow. I'm going to go into an Eruption. It's Game Set Match. He goes to another Sucker Punch. And that's exactly why I didn't go into Sucker Punch. Because now Wicked Blow is going to come from the side. Game Set Match. Yo, Typhlosion erupting and dominating match number one. You guys love to see it. You guys love to see it. exactly what I want to hear in match number one. Wicked Blow comes through here. Urshfu cleans up the mess. GG's 1-0 to get things started. Second match on its way. We're 1-0. What a hot start for us using Hisuian Typhlosion and just ripping with eruptions. Let's see what kind of team we're going up against here in match number two. And we're going up against a very strong team. <laughs> Regulation Deed all out, right? Sneasler, Heatran. Landers, who Landers is going to be that guy. Landers is going to be OP. I'm going to be showcasing Landers video very, very soon. Landers is an S tier, so you guys got to watch out for that. They also have Urshfu, Rollaboom, and 
flutter main. I mean, Landorus is probably going to be the lead. I mean, Delibird and Tornadus could be good for us, which I really, really like. They might bring Heatran. Heatran is definitely an option, but I feel as Landorus is definitely going to be the lead, and Ice is four times super effective, so that could be really, really good. I'm going to lead both of them. I am also going to bring Urshifu of my own in the back end, and then I feel as Choice Scarf Typhlosion could actually be very good as a back end Pokemon, just not as a lead in case they want to bring Heatran. So that's what I'm going to be bringing in here. Let's lock it in. Let's go back to back here, but I'm telling you guys, this one's going to be tough. Sneasler has Fake Out. Um, they have a lot of good Pokemon. Intimidate. They can go with the Grassy Terrain. They have a lot of different options. This is like, this team right here, it has a lot of meta Pokemon for Regulation D. That you guys are going to be seeing a lot. So, there's the lead. This is exactly why I led who I led. And I'm thinking of just straight up protecting my Delibird here. Maybe taking speed next turn, or do I just set up a Tailwind this turn? Because I could go for a Heat Wave. Um, I am actually worried about the Rock, so I might just set up a Tailwind this turn. I mean, I already have speed. We know he's going to... I'm just going to protect you. I might just throw a Heat Wave. you got to be faking out my Delibird, right? You have got to be faking out my Deli Bird. I just feel as like that's the that's the thing. Um, I'm gonna take speed here. So I'm just gonna protect and I'm just going to go into Oh, you withdraw, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna go into a tailwind. So Rillaboom's gonna come out here and Ice is still gonna be super effective, which is good for us. But he gets another fake out Pokemon, which is super annoying. But I do have Heat Wave with Tornadus, which is good. So hopefully he's going for the fake out in Deli Bird. We just block that, we take no damage. We shall see. Yeah, you end up faking out Tornadus. So, wow, we could have just gotten off a free turn there. So, cool. I have Cobra Cloak. He's definitely faking out Delibird Bird this turn. So, from here, I'm just going to go for... I could actually go for a hard swap here. Into Typhlosion, which could actually be good. Saving my Delibird. Bird. I actually like that a lot. And then I'll just Heat Wave across the board. I like that a lot. Because we know Rillaboom Rocks fake out. If it wants to go for fake out, we can have the Ghost Typing here. It could be pretty big for us. We'll see. And if he wants to go into a close combat or something, that works too. So who just dodged that? Please don't tell me Rillaboom dodged that. Okay, Rillaboom didn't. Can we get a burn? A little bit of burn? A little bit of burn? No burn. I guess for Wood Hammer. This actually works fine. That Flosion with a solid swap. So from here, I actually could just set up the Sunny Day and pop some Heat Waves. That's probably my best call. That is probably my best call. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to twist into Heat Wave. I'm going to send it his way, and I'm going to pop the Sunny Day. I'm going to pop the lovely little sunny day. So we'll see who he wants to go into from here. He might end up swapping. He might even terrestrialize. I could see a terrestrialization from Rillaboom. But I, as, I feel as we swapped pretty nicely here. Right? So he ends up withdrawing Rillaboom. Who are you going to go into from here? This is the real question. Heatran? Is Heatran your final Pokemon? Anything but Heatran. It's Lando. I don't mind Lando. I do not mind Lando. We're special attacking. Sunny day is going to come out here. Intimidate does nothing to us, and Heat Wave should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. Huge chunk of damage. Maybe we should have Terror Fire. That could have been good for us, but it's all good. We get a burn on Lando. Mm, that's money. That's money. Let's see what Sneasler ends up going for. Hopefully, Sneasler just goes after my Tornadus, and we can really just lock down this match. And he does. He does go after Tornadus. So people are leaving the Hisuian Typhlosion on the field, allowing it just to rip up, which is awesome. It is awesome. So I'm going to be able to outspeed them. They have no first turn priority. Um, from here, we could bring back out Delibird. Right? Do I bring back out Delibird or do I go Urshfu? I feel as like Delibird's going to be our play, right? Let's just go Delibird. I feel as we should save the Urshfu because Urshfu is so good on its own, especially in a 1v1 situation. I'd rather just save it. So now we go for Heat Waves. We outspeed and... I'm going to go for an Icy Wind, too. And the reason I want to go for an Icy Wind is in case he swaps out. We can get a Speed Drop. We can kind of just go from there. So, yep, there's the Swap Out. Let's see who he ends up going into. No way it's Rillaboom, right? It is Rillaboom. So, he's just sacrificing his Rillaboom. He's just sacrificing his Rillaboom. Just sacrificing his Rillaboom. That's fine. Icy Wind flies. He went to get off damage with Faint before he dies out. And, yeah, we're going to take this. We're going to take down both these Pokemon. I think he's just trying to waste out Tailwind, right? Heat Wave, you gotta land here, though. Cool. Typhlosion ripping. Typhlosion ripping. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Even though Typhlosion should outspeed their Pokemon. Regardless, because it has the Choice Scarf. 
the tailwind is gone i think that's what he really wanted to do and now he's going to go into lando and i believe i mean lando's not really a problem now i was gonna say it's low hp and it's burned wait oh it had the lumberry you little biscuit you had the lumberry so we had the lumberry he is gonna bring out this thing now and do i terrestrialize i'm hoping he just doesn't sucker punch me so i would rather just freeze dry this thing down Let's see how he ends up. He ends up protecting. So he ends up going for the protect. You outspeed Typhlosion. Actually, Deli Bridge outspeeds. That might just take this thing out. Oh, let's go. That's game set match. Match number two going to your boy up against big time regulation D Pokemon. Like, we played that one actually really, really well. Swapping early on into Typhlosion with the Tailwind set up and then popping the Sunny Day and just allowing him to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Plus, the swap allowed us to uh, keep Deli Bird. Because I knew Deli Bird could be clutch for later. I really did. So, we're chilling here. Now we can just go, just go for another Heat Wave. We don't have Tailwind, but what's called fast on the field, Deli Bird. The Deli Bird pops us. No Terrasalization comes out there in match number two. We take it no problem. Did I lose a Pokemon that match? We did. We lose Tor Tornado. So, no sweep, but hey, 2-0. Let's move to the third and final battle and look for a perfect record. Come on, man. That's too easy. That is too easy. We're absolutely killing it in Regulation D. I think all of my videos, we are 3-0. and We have just been ripping. But we're going up against another pretty strong team. I mean, it's more so just stacked Pokemon, right? Rayquaza's on it, which is terrifying. They also have Ursa Luna, who is top tier. But nothing to really pair up with that and really have synergy with. They do have Grimmsnarl for support, Dragonite, and Charizard. So it's cool that we're actually going up against a team with a bunch of cool Pokemon. Because match number one, we went up against like a Series 2-ish team. Match number two, we went up against a really strong Regulation D team that we dominated up against. And now match number three, we're just going up against some cool Pokemon. So how should I play this one? Who should I go into? I could actually just go into the Dragon Maul side of this team. So like Hisuian Typhlosion, you can always erupt with these two, but we can always swap out Hisuian Typhlosion with this guy right here, Reggie Draco. And he can do absolute work. But the only problem would be if they end up leading a Pokemon like Grimmsnarl, right? Grimmsnarl is just an issue. But I'm going to go into Tornado. Speed is going to be our best friend. Um, I could pop a Trick Room if I want to with Indeedee, but... Indeed, he's really here not to pop trick rooms. I think I might just try for the eruption. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Actually, I could just do this. And just bring support. I like Deli Bird as a lead instead of Tornadus. Deli Bird's great because it's speed control, plus it does a little bit of damage. You can take off Focus Ashes with the Icy Wind. It's just great all around. Plus, we have Encore with that. So, if a Pokemon goes into Fake Out a turn, we can always Encore it and keep it into that Fake Out. Or even Tailwind. Or even Trick Room. Any of those moves. We can just Encore into it. And Deli Bird's so good because with the booster energy, it puts its speed to max. And it pretty much outspeeds every Pokemon. Besides Regilecki. That's a Pokemon that we haven't seen. Regilecki. The thing is a beast. And wow, Dragon's Maul would have been perfect here. But actually, my boy Deli Bird works out really, really fine here. Deli Deli Bird. So I think speed might already be on our side. I kind of want to see Urshifu's speed. Might want to Icy Wind here, depending on that. But we'll see. What's your speed? 122? Yeah, I feel as we should Icy Wind. So I'm going to Icy Wind turn 1. And I'm just going to go into Wicked Blow here. And I'm going to look to get rid of Charizard. I'm not trying to deal with Charizard. And he protects. That's fine. Urshifu hits through the protects, which is awesome. We can really get after it. That works out so perfectly. You want to protect that Charizard? Nah, yo, I'm punching a fist right through it. So Icy Wind gonna chunk up some big time damage. If it was multi-scale, we took it off. Speed drop on top of that. And does it can't have white herb? No, it has yo, it has weakness policy. Chill on me, man. Chill on me with the weakness policy. Wicked Blow is gonna come in hot here. Almost take out the Charizard. Are you sashed? You are sashed. You little biscuit, yo. So these two items right off the rip, and this thing's gonna end up going for a dragon dance. Which I don't mind because Deli Bird still outspeeds. I'm gonna freeze dry that thing that this turn, and I'm just gonna sucker punch the Charizard. So we're looking pretty good. The only way it survives is if it terrestrializes. This thing's plus three on attack. Neutral on speed. <laughs> this thing can hit like a truck. Oh, I forgot about E speed. How'd I forget about E speed? Okay, luckily we're able to soak that. Lucky we're able to soak that. So, we get rid of Charizard. We will get rid of uh, Dragonite here, too. How'd I forget about E Speed? That could have did me dirty. If that thing had normal Terra, that would have been the play. That would have been the play. But now we get rid of Dragonite. We get rid of Charizard. Match is pretty much ours. Yo, we are killing it 
on the casual ladder. I think my highest win streak on the casual ladder was in Sword and Shield. I went on like a 21 and I was like streaming doing it. I was using like a Marsh Shadow team when Series 13 just came out. I was ripping. But Grimstar is also going to come out here. And then who is your final Pokemon? Rayquaza. This thing's a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem, Rayquaza. Uh, the real question is, do I slow it down? Or do I just deal damage? I feel like I have to slow it down, right? I feel like I feel as I have to. Could close combat, could wicked blow. I'm just gonna close combat the Grimmsnarl. He ends up going for a fake out. Leave my Deli Bird alone. And he's gonna E-speed me down. Hey! That ain't cool. Okay, so it looks like we just wanna go for damage, because E-speed's a problem. E speed's too quick. Okay. So from here, actually I can just go into. Yeah, why don't I just go into you? Why don't we just set the terrain? Say, hey, yo, E-Speed's got to knock it off. We're tired of it. <laughs> We're tired of it. We're going to pop out that terrain. I'm going to throw a nice little freeze dry. I'm going to freeze dry. I, I feel as I should ice you in just in case he wants to terrestrialize. I'm just going to gleam on top of that. I don't think there's a need to follow me. Actually, no, nah, let's just keep Delibird alive. I feel as that has to be the play, right? Let's just keep Delibird alive. Let him freeze dry. Let him slow down everything. Then Delibird and Typhoid can come in the back end. Clean up whatever we have left, and should be fine from there. And there's the terrestrialization. I think I'm saving my Terra for uh, my type delusion. Full fire, just getting off some big time damage. This thing's normal, so we, we there's no way you're going for E-Speeds, right? There's no way you're going for E-Speeds, right? That's just got to be a changing on the typing, right? There's no way you're using that for damage boost. So we go for the follow me. Sucker. Did they just go for E-Speed Sucker Punch? No, he went for Sucker Punch, that's it. That's fine. So no E speed. You're gonna get speed drop. And this thing D dances up. Okay, so D dance is fine. I mean it's speed's neutral. I feel as we just have to keep lowering the speed. Let's just keep lowering the speed. Icy win, icy win, icy win. Because it's neutral in speed. I need to I need to have it at least minus one. So I'll do the same exact thing. I could just pop a trick room. I could just pop a trick room, but my top floor has choice scarf. There's just, I just don't want to risk that, you know? Do not want to risk that. So, our opponent now knows he can't sucker punch in that terrain. Maybe just a mistake. I used to forget it all the time. I'm, never mind. Our opponent's just like, doesn't know. Confused. <laughs> Very confused. Hey, you get some, you get some players like this on the cash ladder. Can't complain. Can't complain. I feel as we were winning this match regardless if they knew or not, because we're really thriving here. We're really thriving. But Icy Wind's gonna come down here, slowing down the speed. He goes for a bulk up the boost defense, but we're all special attackers. It's cool, it's cool. I'ma lose it if they try to E speed again and sucker punch. I'ma lose it. It's gonna be hilarious if they end up doing that. But from here, now I'm just gonna freeze dry this thing down. I'm just gonna go into a dazzling gleam. I'ma lose it if they go for E speed again. The definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Let's see if he's insane. Bulk up comes out here. That's fine. He's just trying to boost his stats. And don't tell me this thing goes for E-Speed. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, that's fair. We get a crit on Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry almost KOs. Gleam, he outspeed with. That's going to be game. That is going to be game. We get rid of Rayquaza. Grimstar is low on HP. We don't even need to bring out the star of the show for match number three. It's suing type voyage and we still had it in the back end with a with a great move set. And Grimstar is not winning this match. I'm taking out this next turn. This turn right here. He's a goner. He's a goner. We're gonna go to the freeze dry. We're gonna gleam it up. Not even using Terra in our last two matches. We didn't we don't need it. It's too easy. LeBron James emote. If you guys remember, give me the LeBron James emote with a little bit of hashtag third and final battle. And this guy's using sucker punch still. What is going on? I'm so confused. It's all good. Like I said, we were winning this match regardless if they uh if they had sucker punch and e speed. Like even even if they knew about the terrain, right? We were winning this match regardless. But hey, 3-0 again. Gotta love it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. Perfect record for you guys. Absolutely showcase Typhlosion. 
or I should say Hisuian Typhlosion to its fullest potential with Eruption and Sunny Day from Tornadus. That combo is just super broken if you can get it set up. Hisuian Typhlosion is just going to KO Pokemon left and right. Terrasalize him in the fire for more damage. If you're not feeling Eruption, use any of his other moves. He has great moves set of Shadow Ball, Heat Wave, and Extra Sensory to cover a lot of different typings. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.